addition to the video portion, the students are also required to write additional content, include links um, and other information um, to sort of uh, add value to that package that aired. It's only like a 90 second story. And there's usually a lot more information that they can include that the audience might um, get a lot out of. So that's sort of how that started. Um, but we also have a section on our website primarily um, for blogging. Um, and those are separate stories that the students cover. And they're assigned to do a blog you know, every three to six weeks, depending um, on different topics. So those could be topics that um, maybe don't merit the time and the resources of a full video news package, but we still find newsworthy. And it also allows the students to have sort of an outlet to cover stories that they're passionate about or topics that they're passionate about that don't quite fit into our schedule and our lineup. Um, how do your students like blogging? What sort of comments do you get? Well, it's funny because <clears throat> at first they're like, oh, man, i got to do this. Like it's another thing on top of their regular duties um, and responsibilities. Um, but I think, you know, because I give them a lot of freedom to choose the subject matter that they want to cover, I think they have fun with it. And my current online producer is really great about encouraging them and working with them to develop their own style um, and be creative. And I think that's part of <clears throat> the great advantage of blogging is that it does allow you to express your own voice, um, whereas other formats it's more standardized or professional. And not that you don't want to be unprofessional, but um, you can, um, I guess, allow room for personal style and taste to kind of move in there. And I think that's going to breed ownership of the work, and they'll enjoy it more. Um, and so I think they really like that part. Um, you know, I have a couple of students who have graduated, gone through my program. <clears throat> One of them is a... Um, uh, she works actually at uh, the newspaper at UC Berkeley, um, and she got that gig as a freshman because wow. of her experience blogging using WordPress and doing lots of video and online work. So um, it's actually a valuable tool because not just in journalism, but if you think in the business world, um, in the business world you're going to have to create content online to promote your products or a campaign. Um, and so I think that's really important for the kids to have that experience about how to write for the web, which is very different than writing a five-page essay for your English teacher. Um, it's very different than texting. Um, it's very different than email. So um, I think it's a very valuable skill to have. And as far as enjoying it, I think they grow to enjoy it because I allow them the time and the flexibility to cover stories that they like. The world is online now. And if you don't start creating your own digital footprint online and putting your own portfolio of original content online, you're going to be left behind. And people are going to ask you, what have you written? What have you done? And um, you have to have a link to it. You can't just copy a paper that you've handwritten in pencil and turned into your teacher. Um, I had a student who actually got a job, an internship on a website, writing blogs on fashion because of her experience writing blogs in my class. She was already familiar with, um, you know, the style for online content. Uh, she was familiar with WordPress already. And so that was something that was amazing. And she, no one else had access to that and those kinds of skills. So, um, you know, look at it as a serious thing. Have fun with it for sure. Um, but don't dismiss it as just sort of an additional fluff kind of assignment <clears throat> that you tack on. It's a serious, um, serious endeavor. It's a lot of fun.